Moving on then to task three. A dwelling proposed for the site requires a 120mm diameter sewer of length 100 metres to be laid from a manhole at point P to the proposed septic tank at point R. So basically I have completed my changes, put my ground levels on, plotted those on and drawn the line in dot to dot. So the natural fall of the ground is it's fallen from manhole at point P where we started our survey from to the manhole at point R or the septic tank at point R. The gradient of the sewer is to suit site conditions and will require a change in direction at Q. The invert level at change zero or point P is to be 64.5 metres above the atom. Okay. Now because our site was fallen to point R, I'm going to give you the, the invert level at that point there. And what we mean by invert level, if we just zoom in here. The invert level of a pipe is the level taken from the bottom of the inside of the pipe as shown in this diagram here. So yeah, the invert level is the bottom of the inside of the pipe. Okay. The water level, for example, if it was a culvert and there is a river running through it, that would be your water level. And the crown is the top of the outside of the pipe. And just bear in mind that spigot and socket pipes can vary uh, in, in height across the pipe as well. So we've got this figure 64.5 and we're going to use this at point R. So we have an invert level section in our table. So what you're going to do is you're going to populate the invert level at point R. So 64.500. Okay. Now, uh, the gradient that we're going to use, so the gradient is to suit site conditions. So I'm going to, I think today we'll use a gradient of 1 in 125 meters. So basically what that means is for every 125 meters of horizontal length, there's a 1 meter rise in height. Okay, so we're going to start to do some working out then. Find that if well firstly we can draw this on okay so your 64.500 take away your datum gives you 4.5 meters of difference now at a scale of 1 to 50 you will measure up approximately 9 centimeters or 90 mil up and you will plot that on so I'll just plot that on here Okay, so that's our invert level at that point there. Okay, so all you'll do is you'll measure up nine centimeters from your datum line. The next thing we need to do is to work out if our gradient is rising by one meter and 125 meters, and our survey is 100 meters long, what is the, the rise or the fall in the pipe? In our case, we can use this formula here fall times gradient fall equals gradient times distance for example the fall in the 50 meter section of foul water pipe work the gradient is to be 1 and 80. the first thing you do is the gradient has to be converted to a ratio so we do that by 1 divided by the gradient 1 and 80 and in this case it's not point not 1 2 5 so that gives you your gradient as a ratio then multiply that by the distance and that gives us either the rise or the fall. Okay. So in our case, our gradient is 1 in 1, 2, 5. Okay. So moving on to this part of the formula, the rise or fall then. So if you type in 1, Result you get is not point not not yet. Therefore, we use not point not not eight multiplied by the distance, and the distance of our survey is one hundred meters, and that gives us an answer of not point eight. 
I'm just going to copy this down. Rise then over the total length of our survey is 0 0.800 meters. And I want you to show this working out somewhere on that sheet, probably the top right corner somewhere. So what we're saying is our invert level here is 64.5 and our pipe is rising across the 100 meters horizontally by 0.8 meters. So 64.5 plus 0.8 then gives us an invert level at the starting point. Sixty-five point three. Sixty-five point three zero zero meters. Okay. Now we want to plot that on. Okay. So sixty-five point three minus your sixty will give you five point three. Multiply that by one and divide it by fifty to give you your vertical scale. So that gives us a vertical rise there of, you will measure up 10.6 centimeters or 106 mil. In my case, it'll be 10,600 cosmos full scale. And you will then draw a line between your invert level at that you've measured at point R to the invert level at point P. Okay, now that is the bottom of the inside of our pipe. It's good practice to actually show the actual depth of the pipe here as well. So if I copy up just a piece of text here, okay, and the way we work this out is in your assignment brief, it's saying the pipe is 120 mil diameter. So that's 0 0.120 meters. Multiply that by one, and then divide that by 50, and that will give you your scale factor. Basically, you will measure up roughly about 24 mil. That's 24, well, units for that would be meters. So you would measure up 0 0.0. If, sorry, I'm going to do it here. You would measure up 2.4 centimeters or 24 mil. I'm going to measure up, uh, that actually works out at 40, if I'm correct. And you would draw that basically on there onto your sewer. And that shows your pipeline basically running through your long section there. And, and that then will complete and that will lead us that we can run on to the next section of our assignment then.